and uh look the fancy apartment around here really really amazing one wow guys this is really crazy someone will be willing to pay maybe even a thousand maybe five hundred dollars and even more to just to get a night at this place and academy senior school a cambridge international school guys this is a cambridge international school so you can't tell me that a kid living in liponi maybe maybe in kisawani or in bamburi can afford to live in such a place you have to know is that this area is actually many many, many people i mean who live around this area and the somalis are the arabs are the hindus you know so guys right now uh i'm currently in likoni 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 uh which is far away i mean the other side uh far away i mean it's part of mombasa but far away from it uh you cross ferry you cross the ferry channel and you find yourself in such an area guys today i'm going to be taking you uh to the most uh where billionaires actually here in kenya mombasa live but right now i've just decided to start this vlog on this side just to give you a perspective of how life is uh from where the rich resides and uh to where uh let me say the billionaires i mean in mombasa kenya do live so that's that's the reality guys this is the situation around here and in a few 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 moments i mean for you it's going to be a few moments but for me it's going to be some hours because i have to cross the ferry channel uh before i actually get to where i want to go so that i can show you what's going on around here so the situation of of this side this side is where the lower class lower class people live in this area in likoni and the the life i mean the situation here this is how it is and you're going to see the very big difference when i venture into where the rich and the billionaires you know of mombasa live or hide <laughs> we can say that technically so guys continue watching and uh, we get to see what you have to see around this area so guys as i told you earlier in a few moments later you're going to be seeing where the billionaires of kenya hide right now i'm just at this point here shark zone going further this side because this actually will take me to kizingo so what i'm trying to say here is that uh what you're going to see in these streets as you keep on heading further uh, uh to where the billionaires live in mombasa kenya you're going to realize that uh, uh at this point here for example let me just talk about this point here you see the apartments around here these are just some old shitty apartments that are around this place which says that uh we're still not yet in the most developed area of the place or where i just want to show you guys around and uh you can see the conditions around here the streets are not pretty that well made up right now as you can see we have some potholes around the road but uh, where we're going to go i mean what i'm going to show you is just going to blow your mind so i just started this video here intentionally just to show you guys around i mean look at this apartments around here look at this place anyway you see the road here uh it's not even there are no curb roads around here you see some dumping and people keep on dumping plastics and uh, paper bags around here which is really sick uh they keep on making the area really really dirty and uh, the apartments are not that really fancy but right now i just need to head uh, down this way straight and uh to show you where the billionaires hide and this is going to blow your mind so let's keep going guys so guys we're actually getting there i just been walking some few meters away from this road and as i told you earlier this part is not yet developed but uh, we are getting there right now so the feeling of this place anyway the first time i found it because i'm actually redoing the video guys uh, if you have noticed if you have been on my channel for for a while you know that i'm redoing the videos around here uh, with the gopro but right now guys check the situations of these apartments around this place i mean it's not as uh, it's not as vibrant as this area that you're going to be exploring around today 
So this is just going to blow your mind because uh, the area, I mean, if you have watched this video from the beginning, you have seen the area was, I mean, Likoni area. I mean, you saw how the area is. It's really not that interesting uh, of an area to be around with and uh, it gets to be very dangerous. It's not safe anymore and uh, we don't have tourists going to, uh, to that area of Likoni because it's not safe. But around here, uh, where I'm going to be taking you right now in Kizingo, Mombasa, is just going to blow your mind, guys. Check this apartment around, around here and I check the situation around here. And I have to cross this road uh, so that we can head to Kizingo right now. And this is the situation. So we have a city clock around here. And uh, at the same time, uh, there's a roundabout here that uh, takes you further inside Kizingo. The one takes you to Nkuruma Road, which can lead to Forty Jesus. And this one, this is the road I've been using from, uh, from the shark zone entering this area but right now i need to get deeper inside and uh, one of the things that can show you that what i'm where i'm going through right now is where the rich heights and you just imagine the kind of vehicles that are coming from that spot and uh you see right now we see people selling uh trees around here uh, which is also one of the sort of the sign that uh you know rich are the people uh the billionaires are those people who are always want to decorate their their homes and they want to make it look really perfect. So, enough of that. Let's just keep going. Let's just keep going. A very, very dangerous road, guys, yeah? You really have to be careful. It's a roundabout. Get sneaky. So, uh, it's David Ki Kianda Road that I'm going through here. There's a poster around there. That's the area that I'm going through. Anyway, David Kianda Road that takes us to Kizingo. And uh, you're going to be surprised by what you're going to see, the kind of buildings, the, how the area is. And uh, compared compare what you're seeing right now here, like maybe for instance this area, and uh, if you keep going further inside. So guys, this is where the rich heights. And uh, that's why you, you can see even some community, those who actually have no man come around here, just to, you know, just to wait for those rich people to get out of their buildings so that they can give them something to eat. And uh, this, this is a common situation in an area like this. So guys, we are now venturing into the uh, rich neighborhoods around here in Mombasa. And uh, we are now start to seeing it together. So guys, check this out. I mean, check this out. And we, we have not even gone too deep into this uh, this area but let's keep on going and uh, what you're going to see around here is going to blow your mind okay uh, so we are going deeper into this area let's talk a little bit about some of the things that made this area to be this well developed and why the billionaires of Mombasa Kenya decided to come and invest in uh, building their apartments around this area why is that so you know that's what we're going to be talking about as we go deep into this area of Kizingo here in Mombasa. So guys, since I've been walking around here, I mean, the only thing I see are the tuk-tuks, uh, private cars. Uh, really, if you see someone walking around me, uh, around here, it's just someone who is maybe walking into this area or maybe uh, he's just, you know, searching for a gig. You know, some people come around here inside, uh, inside, this, uh, inside this area to search for work you know because they can get something to do they can get to wash clothes they can get to do utensils you know life is really tough in Mombasa I can't tell you that it's all paradise there's a dark past uh, there's another situation that really really bad so guys we're actually here so the, check out this uh, the first building you're coming across here this just shows you I mean look at how they have structured it around here and uh, you actually don't see anything being dumped and just this is just the beginning guys let's keep on going and see what we have to see around this area uh, where the billionaires the millionaires the tycoon of Mombasa live guys check the uh, apartment around there it's really fancy really really fancy isn't it and this area is really clean and an amazing one guys check this out 
Wow, 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 wow. I mean, look at this. You can't find this anywhere, anywhere, apart from this area. And uh, as you can see from the road around here, it's really, really clean, super, super clean. And uh, the trees that are planting here, everything around this area is well kept because people who actually have good money, make good money around this area. This is where the pe people eat. So anyway, let's just explore. So, I mean, as I was, uh, as I was planning to come around this area uh, for the second time, to do the vlog using my GoPro right now, I did some research, a little bit of research, and I found out that uh, the, there, are, there are lots of flashy apartments around this area that people are selling them. So if maybe you are, you are searching to, to get an apartment for you to stay, or maybe you get a place for you to, uh, to, to uh, maybe you buy and maybe you decide to rent, maybe you make it uh, Airbnb. This is actually a perfect location and there are so many apartments that are being sold. I saw it on the, I was, I was doing my research when I wanted to come to this place. So fancy, fancy apartments that are around here have been sold. You can buy an apartment here and uh, make it uh, a resort, make it an Airbnb, make it a hotel around here, which is going to, I mean, it's going to, uh, to reward you. There is going to be a bigger return because this area around here, you are just closer to the beach. You know, as I keep going further away from this area here, we are going to notice that we'll end up uh, getting into the into the uh, Indian Ocean around there, which is around um, next to Mombasa Golf, Golf Club and uh, Mamangina Waterfront. So the location, guys. Okay, so the first thing that we want to talk about here as we are exploring this area and uh, some of the reason why uh, the billionaires in Mombasa, Kenya, decided to just invest in this area, build these fancy apartments, and uh, some of them even molding this area into their business site. The first thing is that uh, the location, guys. The location is actually located uh, closer. It's closer to the to the beach. It's closer to the Indian Ocean. And the second thing is that uh, it's also closer closer to to Mombasa CBD. You know, the the center of Mombasa. It's, right there so it makes it easier for people to just move around from one place to another uh if they want to do some shopping they don't want to do that and that uh that's the first thing and another thing is that uh this is a perfect location maybe for one who wants to start a maybe an airbnb wants to start maybe a rental property around this area this is actually a perfect location for people to choose to live in especially maybe let me say people who are coming far from mombasa they want to uh to actually get the feel of the Indian Ocean, you know, people who have never seen the Indian Ocean, they want to get an office, maybe or maybe a stay, a place to stay that you can actually peep out of your window and you can see Indian Ocean. So such an apartment like this one here, guys. So this area is really, 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 really amazing, really amazing, amazing, and amazing. So for now, let's just keep on going straight forward this road, and uh, we keep on exploring this place. Okay, so the other thing, why is it uh, maybe where the rich, I mean, where the billionaires of Kenya, Mombasa, Kenya reside? Why is that so? Okay, and uh, another thing that you have to know is that this area is actually, many, many, many people, I mean, who live around this area are the Somalis, are the Arabs, are the Hindus, you know? Uh, those have big amounts they have big pockets, I mean. The pockets are really full, and that was why they consider living in such an area, guys. So right now, before I head to the, uh, to an, another spot that is going to take us, us out of this place, let's just uh, go this side a little bit. You can see Jafari Academy School Zone is located around there. And Jafari Academy, guys, it's not a joke. <laughs> it's not a joke, actually. What I can tell you is that, uh, Actually, that simplifies the school. Sim just only those people who can actually afford it. They're the ones who actually go to that school and are not maybe a kid from low life situation. Maybe a kid from a very humble family uh, that lives around that area. It's really impossible. So let me just go around this area and uh, show you guys the school. And uh, as you can see, we are entering the zone. 
Jafari Academy Mombasa guys so this this is the same around here you see it's just along that area Salam alaikum so guys let's keep on strolling and we explore this place as you can see this place is really really good and uh, maybe some of the sites maybe you can see some kiosk around here actually those are some of the areas i mean some of the areas where the people who work around this area as i told you earlier people come around this area to search for for gigs some come to do construction sites you know uh you know the manual labor thing you know when it comes to construction come around here so the the spots you have seen behind me those kiosks are just for those kind of people who are living here because you can't tell me somebody who is rich living in such an apartment will go to eat at such a, a spot no they don't do that they go to fancy the fancy fancy hotel and we have the coast academy around here but as we keep going further we're going to come across uh we're going to come across uh, the school so this road that i'm right uh, i'm right on as i'm heading this side is called al sadiq al sadiq road but uh yeah let's keep on going further i show you jafar academy and uh, i take you uh so we, we stroll around here exploring this place a little bit and uh yeah guys the coast academy senior school a cambridge international school guys this is a cambridge international school so you can't tell me that a kid living in Likoni maybe maybe in Kisawani or in Bamburi can afford to live in such a place and uh, we have a restaurant there we have Alwari's restaurant which is around this place so let's keep going let's keep it going and just show you guys what I mean when I tell you that billionaires actually live in this place they actually chose to invest in this place actually shows you know so let's keep on going further let's keep on going further and uh, we get on keep on seeing what i mean by that so guys we have been inside here i mean what's your what's your perspective about this area i mean can you consider uh, uh coming to live in such an area a really fancy and an amazing area uh to be honest uh what i can tell you is that this area is uh is secure is secure this area because we don't have low lives because the low lives people who are actually from who are struggling those are the those are the kind of people maybe who will think into taking advantages of some situation like this maybe try to rob people around but this area i've been uh considering the kind of people who live around here this is safe because the only thing people get to do is enter into their cars and just stroll salam alaikum and just stroll and I get to places they're going so guys uh, we have Kenya school government empowering public service around here and uh, look the fancy apartment around here really really amazing one wow guys this is really crazy check this building apartment out it's super 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 Woo. man anyways I wanted to come around around this area I get to show you the school that I'm talking about this is Jafari Education Center wow guys this apartment i just can't get enough of it i mean look how amazing it is as i told you earlier guys if maybe you are from your somewhere and you have the capability you're thinking of maybe investing or maybe buying an apartment in mombasa kenya this is an, an amazing spot that you should come around here because they have lots of apartments empty one as you can see this one here is empty it's empty it's empty it's empty it's empty so guys this is it here this is actually jafar education center wow oh so you uh now guys i came to this point we have al sadiq road al sadiq road and we have al bakir so the other road that i started with came to connect to this al bakir road so guys this is, this is what i want to show you an institute of professional students so they have nursery junior senior or professional studies so this is an area that i just wanted to show you guys but for now let's keep on let's go back because we still have more i mean we still have more to see around this area where the billionaires of mombasa resides so guys we're actually still 
in the streets of Kizingo around here and uh, we want to explore more of this place so that you can see so that you can tell I mean from how amazing this place is anyway uh, let's keep on going let's keep on going let's keep on going and see what this beautiful street of Kizingo where the rich guys decided to stay anyway guys if you're not from Kenya and uh, maybe you're not from Kenya, Africa, actually you don't know anything about Kenya and you're watching me for the first time, what I can tell you is that the community that do live around this place, maybe let me say Hindus, but about it, uh, let me say about Hindus, about Arabs, about about Somalis, about Sots, so all of those kind of people that live around this area, those are people who are well, be, are well built, I mean, those are people who have cash in their in their pockets those are people who can actually you know they have lots of businesses and they're considered to be among the people who are, are, are rich i mean around this area the tycoons of kenya i mean that is what you have to know and uh, i guess that is also another reason why this place is well built because you have people who have money come to invest in this in this place they come to build around this place and that's what makes it so and uh, we're still around here we're still around here we're just strolling around, we get to see or we get to see the place a little bit and uh, yeah, get you guys give you the feel so uh, if I, I'm going further this side, I'm getting to Mamangina waterfront, the beach I mean but for now, I don't want to go to the beach yet because there's something else I need to show you uh, as I'm touring around here guys, check this place out guys this is where I came. I uh, I came. Uh, I came from that side. Then I took another route that I went around and brought me back to this place. And uh, guys, can you just get the view from here? It's just all fancy, fancy, fancy. But now I need to go to this side so that we can keep on exploring the area a little bit. Wow, guys! I mean, check this area out, oh, man. It's really an amazing place, uh, an amazing spot. And uh, some of you guys who maybe be watching me from Kenya around here and uh, you can come to this area. You, you don't actually have necessarily to come here maybe for a special reason. You can just come around here. This is a, a great place for a hike, I mean for a picnic, I mean, you know. Just walk around, get to see the building as you, you are heading, as you are heading to Mamangina waterfront. This is an amazing spot uh, where you can do that at the same time. So uh, you can just come around here get to walk a little bit get the view i mean it's really amazing area and uh it's really safe uh that is what i can tell you because uh, as i told you earlier people uh actually those who have lots of money stay at this area so that is why uh, i'm telling you that anyway let's um, keep on strolling guys around and uh we see this we have sea view plaza that's around here this plaza is called sea view because it's actually facing the indian ocean so now this uh, really can be a really a perfect spot to come and stay around here uh, if maybe you are thinking of ah maybe i want to i want an airbnb i want an apartment where i'll be facing the indian ocean and every single day i'll be waking with such a beautiful view and my life is going to be awesome then this is actually one of the places that you can think of around you can come around and think of staying around here so let's just, just keep rolling around there's another apartment around here it's really really fancy they also do have that the uh the coastal i mean the the coastal vibe i mean the coastal vibe is still held held into place around this area and uh, that's why i'm telling you the billionaires actually live around this area so right now we need to get to another there's another spot around this place that i just want to show you and uh about about it it's one of the spots uh, that so many people, I mean, young, youngsters, people come to uh, take photos around that area uh, because it's iconic. And uh, the place that I'm talking about, do you see the tower around there? <laughs> you see the tower around there? That's the tower that I'm actually, I wanted to take you and uh, show you because this is where the Insta Instagram things do happen, you know? Uh, if you want a nice spot maybe for Instagram pictures, this is the place around here around in Kizingo. People do here and uh, as, as I can tell, whatever. So guys, uh, we're still around here. This is the spot, Kizingo. If you see this in Mombasa, they know that you're in Kizingo. And uh, it's maybe, let me say, it's a lighthouse considering uh, the fact that uh, we have 
Indian Ocean, uh, which is this side. I mean, the Indian Ocean beyond this building around there. And we have this one here. So maybe the, it can be used to, to indicate to the ships that are coming to Mombasa that, hey guys, you are in arriving, uh, you are maybe closer to the dock, uh, to the harbor of Mombasa. And this is the spot around here. So for the Instagram shots, this is where they come from. And uh, if you maybe you scroll uh, through Instagram pictures, you're going to see this kind of uh, this tower around here so so a lot because it actually signifies that you are in Abare Abare Freshy So right now guys I hope you have seen enough for, for, of this Let's head back and uh, get you guys to the beach because that is where I wanted to show you guys uh, Take you uh, to the beach so that you get to see the view from that side as I've been telling you guys that this apartment, this area is closer to the Indian Ocean, uh, Mombasa Gold Club, and uh, the Mamangina. So, let's go there. So guys, uh, the tower uh, that I showed you is this side. But now, uh, I left that side, and I'm going this side, taking you uh, to the Indian Ocean. You know, you get to get the view, and uh, maybe I'll show you maybe the Mombasa Golf Club around here. In Kizingo, as you can see, uh, there are some shops, biryani stand, we have Kulfiana, we have Tawal, Kizingo Pharmacy, Pharmacy, yeah. You see guys, this is an amazing spot. They're usually really, really busy during the weekends, I guess. And uh, right now, it's still early in the morning, and I guess that's why the, most of them are closed. But guys, Check this apartment out around uh, yeah, here, the Sea View Plaza, that the facing the Indian Ocean on that side. And uh, we have another spot here, Kukuzingo Chicken and Chips, where you can uh, find uh, found them ar around this spot. So guys, tell me, are we not where the billionaires reside in Kenya? Are we not there? Guys, check the beautiful view of the Indian Ocean. And uh, the fence that you're seeing in front of me right now here, that's uh, actually the fence uh, that surrounds the Mombasa Golf, Mombasa Golf Club here. And uh, let me just uh, just walk a little bit around here and show you uh, and give you a sense of understanding as to why I was saying this is where the billionaires of Mombasa hide, guys. Actually, the buildings that you're seeing around this place uh, are around the beach. Beach properties in Mombasa. I mean, I, I think even in, in USA, I think in, even in India, I mean, wherever the place. Ble beach plates are usually super, super expensive because of, uh, of this view. I mean, this kind of view, guys, this is what people spend lots of money to get such kind of view, you know? You want your building, you want your spot, maybe your hotel, maybe your restaurant. You want it to be closer to the beach uh, so that maybe you can give your visitors who are coming from far away an amazing experience. And uh, that's why we are seeing something like this. I guess these are resorts. Uh, maybe I guess these are Airbnbs or maybe uh, some hotels. Maybe they will, uh, actually the people who have uh, places, I mean houses in such an area get to make, I mean, a good amount of money because of you're facing the indian ocean and i bet someone will be willing to pay maybe even a thousand maybe five hundred dollars and even more to just to get a night at this place and wake up at this amazing amazing indian ocean around here so guys do you i mean do you feel me do you feel me guys i'm telling you guys i'm telling you guys someone will be willing to do that i'm even be, i'll even be willing if maybe i go to katerina Colombia maybe in some days in future I get to stay in a place like this facing the Indian maybe the ocean Caribbean ocean around there you know that's what I'll be willing to do that I'll be willing to pay for that amount of money because it's fancy gives you the experience that it, man I'm actually in a really really lovely place and uh, this is what actually I wanted to do and I'm super into it I'm enjoying doing it the experience you never find somewhere else and uh, that is what you get to see around here and uh, this gives you an overview of why Kizingo is where the billionaires 
the millionaire the tycoons in Kenya live actually because of this such kind of view anyway guys uh, we, we are still strolling here uh, if you go this further this side I mean the tower the tower is around that place that's where I was right and uh, right now here this is the Mombasa Golf Club that is just around this place uh, where the golfers you know and uh, I you know I'm convinced that people who play golf are those who actually who are making bowlers making good money they're the ones who play this kind of sports someone who is a low life can't play around here and uh, this place the golf club that is around here this is where the rich ah uh, around here rich hangout try to pay, play some golf around this beautiful beautiful uh field that you're seeing around here facing the ocean guys anyway guys for that much i don't have uh, anything further to say i don't have anything uh to add on that uh but uh hopefully you have enjoyed the vlog hopefully you have actually you like the kind of content you're seeing on this youtube channel if you're new to this youtube channel guys if you're new to this youtube channel consider subscribing hit the like button share the videos and uh we're going to see much more of this content as well I shall be keep on, I shall keep on exploring Mombasa and its beauty around here. So, see you guys in my next chapter and bye bye from this beautiful, beautiful side of Indian Ocean around here in Mombasa Golf Club. And I see you and see you again in my next adventure.